Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good now. Uh, so I'm not sure how this matchup will go because I'm not too familiar with the blue team here. But well, in terms of team synergy and just matchup against these uh, red team characters, so it'll be relying on this round one. Here we go, Bonk and Ten versus Nuchi Uno. <coughs> Bonk just using that uh, neutral A to edge guard, but Uno was able to roll right past it. Nuchi doing the standard Mario things. Uh, Controlling the neutral, throwing out fireballs in a far out space for the neutral, and then just move in and get strings off as well. Which is looking for these up air strings, but the uh, Meta Knight gets him off his own and is able to take out Pac Man off the top. And that is pretty early. Oh, almost set up for a spike. That's another thing you gotta watch out for the, uh, the grab for the uh, Uno there on Pac Man. Because that'll leave you wide open unless you, you have to get uh, confirmed. Grab off of it. And we're seeing uh, Blue Team have a little bit of a struggle here. I mean, Red Team has high percentages, but they're definitely knowing when to move in. Just like that. Get the up strings. And he knew to back off as well because Uno was approaching. That was a good option. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mario went in deep. I'm not sure what happened there because I was focusing on something else. It's hard to solo commentate people. And these upbees again, almost got Uno a second time, but uh, he had 63 and uh, Meta Knight had no rage on him, so. Back air along with the Hydrant will take out, uh, uh, sorry there, 10, even though he's using the number 9. That's a thank you for that. It helps out the commentators very much. Um, yeah, I want to see a lot, yeah, here we go. A little more item play from Uno. He hasn't uh, been cycling through the items all too much. And, you know, that's partially because, um, doubles and more characters on screen so it's hard to get it out but right now he has the key which does the most damage and knockback and it's fast so you gotta watch out for it especially with the uh, red team across the side i was expecting him to throw it out there he got a weak hit off of it and he accidentally uh not accidentally he did uh get a ko from the red team there so right now we're seeing 42 matchup mario moosh is looking to be on his way out 127 damage and uh the other team has pretty good rage and there it is the back air from 10 and no share stock options, so Pac-Man is by himself lonesome against four stocks against two characters that have somewhat of a speed advantage, but he's not looking for an up -e. Good air dodge read to the forward air, and will take him out. That was a very nice run from Red Team there. Blue Team is going to have to put in a fair amount of uh, consideration as to how they're going to counter this. Uh, that was a very nice, solid show from Red Team. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to sort of turn the I get the couch by myself, but that's a bit nice. But it's hard to keep track, especially in doubles. So... Seeing here... Oh, and also, uh, like I said before, if you press that follow button, make sure you get notifications whenever we go live. And we go live just about every day of the week. Uh, except for weekends, I believe. And uh, make sure, if you can, four ninety nine dollars a month, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the stream immensely. Um, we'll be able to get more solidified setups, because right now this is a, uh, like, a player-reliant kind of thing. I mean, we do have, uh, we do have uh, sedentary, like, setups here, but a fair amount of them are from the people that actually play here. So that just shows, like, how the community comes together at, at the lab. And uh, just comes together, has a great time, and just enjoys Smash 4 competitively. And uh, your $5 or $4.99 would uh, contribute to that immensely. Uh, you'll also get emotes. Um, you'll get the Bros Love, and uh, I always forget the name of the second one, but it's the one with the 34 and the Death Stare. Um, but yeah, here we go. Wrapping it into round two for winner semifinals, actually, already. Okay. And, uh, pretty all around. Okay, Moosh actually went to Captain Falcon. Um, yeah, I'd say it's a better option. They have a lot more solidified, uh, kill power. Because, uh, Captain Falcon with pretty much all the smashes can take out, uh, at good percentages. Um, and, uh, the thing is, though, he's gonna be countered on speed. Because Fox and Meta Knight. Oh, wow! Uh, 10 gets sent flying, and. Oh wow, he actually got the uh, upbeat recovery out of the side as well. So he'll come back. Good snap too. Um, but yeah, the Captain Falcon speed will be canceled out, especially by Fox and Meta Knight speed. 
Um, so it'll help them out in one aspect, at least killing, which uh, they had a little bit of trouble with. So this will, this will be in benefit of blue. Uh, but just walk up, up smash will take out Musha's first stock. <clears throat> right now, yeah, especially the aerials, yeah. Meta Knight's going to be coming a lot of the aerial ground. Yeah, he was just looking out for that Hydrant, and he was just a little too low. So Bonk gets uh, sent out. Also pretty early, especially when he could have recovered, I think. Oh, and that peak, uh, the, no, sorry, not PK Fire, the regular uh, Firefox almost took out Uno's shield there. So he's got to play very roly, but yeah, he pays for it in the end and gets a stop taken. And we're seeing 4-4 all around. Uh, Fox is looking to go out though, especially with these going in deep. And he gets the tech, but okay, right in the box neutral A. Fire recovery and was able to cancel out the cherry, so it was the recovery back. And that's a that's a good setup from Uno, setting up that uh, up the spring on the side of the stage there. Because uh, if you don't hit the stage just right, you'll get the bounce instead of the uh, the ledge grab, and uh, that can set you up for aerial or even just something else that you don't expect. Right now, Uno coming in with these forward smashes, basically drawing out. Uh, Box there. Good spike for Moosh, but he was able to bounce right back up. Uh, let's see. Very nice combo. Boxing him with forward air into uh, tens up air. Good persistence from Uno trying to get the shield, but Bonk just comes in and with the neutral air actually takes out Uno. Alright. Good forward smash. Oh, actually catches Moosh on that uh, with grab. So it really wasn't worth grab. And up air string sent him way up, looking for the up B, but a little in bit of interference was able to stifle his up B opportunity. And he re-grabs that bell. Bell's looking for trouble. Almost catches a uh, bonk with that. Oh, gets the cleanup smash on uh the uh, uh, 10. Sorry. Alright now. I'm not sure, yeah, I don't think uh, a lot of item play would be good because that leaves him open. Especially, oh no, off stage will be fine with it. Because he could throw out any, uh, any, uh, any item out of it time. This fire hydrant, okay, accidentally up tilts his own teammate there. But he sets him up with his up, he's look, uh, looking for the up, uh, sets him up with the up air, looking for the up B himself. Fire hydrant actually pushing him away. To get the melon out, okay, good fire hydrant there, and um... You can sit up with that fire hydrant. You throw out the fire hydrant into back, and up he couldn't get the second hit off that. Oh wow, I'm not even sure what that was, but it takes him out, and uh, as long as he puts in work with the fire hydrant, uh, works against him. And Bonk and Tim just advance 2-0 against Noosh and Uno. All right.